Mill Valley has so many really great restaurants. Hi, I'm Tracy Miller and this is The Local Dish. This is where we scout the valley and we find that dish at that restaurant that you're going to want to go back time and time again to enjoy. I'm so excited today to introduce a brand new restaurant in Avon. It's called Boxcar Restaurant and Bar and it's got a great feel. It's kind of a balance between cozy and contemporary and the one thing that really sets it apart is it's chef owned. So you know the food is going to be so delicious. Let's head inside boxcar, meet the chefs and see what they're cooking up today. Ah, oh, what a cozy atmosphere. There's a little lounge area over here and a community table. Kara, thanks for having us here. Hi Tracy, welcome. So you and Hunter are both chefs, well-renowned chefs, and you own this restaurant together. Tell me what the benefit is of being a chef-owned restaurant. Well, it's great to be a chef-owned restaurant because we really get direct contact with the guests. We greet them when they come in, we get to enjoy their dining experience with them, and then we get to get direct feedback afterwards. That sounds nice. I bet they like that a lot, and I bet they like this bar because you have a gorgeous bar, and pub is in your name, so you must have a lot of beer. We do, Tracy. We have about 10 beers on tap, all local and domestic, and we also have 25 beers by the bottle. Now, you're in the front of the house today, but Hunter's back there, and I hear he might be cooking with beer. Uh, one of our signature dishes is our PEI beer mussels, where we use our Telluride Face Down Brown Ale, and we cook up our mussels with a little bit of a homemade Italian sausage. Okay, so you're not in the back of the kitchen today. You're in the front of the house, but do you think you could get me back there to see how he makes it? I can absolutely take you back right now. Let's go check it out. All right. Kara pulled some strings and got me back here in the kitchen. Chef Hunter, thanks for letting me back here. What are you cooking up today? Well, today we'll be doing our PEI beer mussels. It goes with pork sausage, leeks, garlic, and sourdough bread. Oh my gosh, that is the dish that I'm going to come back time and time again. Make That's sure. the local dish here. <laughs> you make your sausage. You do we this do. for a lot of different dishes. We make all of our sausage from scratch. In fact, we make everything from scratch in this restaurant. That's Yum. correct. Okay, yeah. show me how you make this if you don't mind. Fantastic. Our pork sausage yeah. is a nice blend of 60% pork, 40% percent fat. We have some wonderful spices that make the flavors just amazing. Coriander, some fennel seed, black pepper, and then our salts and sugars, rosemary, crushed red pepper that to add a little good. bit of a spice. So why'd you choose the brown beer? We chose the brown beer based on the fact that it's just got some great characteristics of maltiness, nutty flavors, and coffee. Okay. And, it go, and it's gonna go great with the sausage. So we've got the pork, the mixture, lots of different spices, some sugar, some salt, and now you're crushing that up yep, and you're just, just going right to let it shoot right out. Uh -huh. All right, sausage is made. Sausage now is you'll made. take me in the back and we'll Fantastic. get to those Let's mussels. To our next step. Okay. Great. Okay. You've got the homemade sausage. We have our sausage. That yep. goes in the pan first. We'll do that right now. So we're going to sear off this sausage really quick, get those nice caramelized flavors. And while we start getting our sausage going, we'll sear off our bread and get that nice and buttered up. Step number two, what Step are you doing? Step number two, let's grab some mussels, throw mm -hmm. them in there. I'm gonna turn the salt heat off. You're turning it off totally. Well, just so we don't get any flame. Okay, so all right. spitting up a little bit. No flame here at Box Car. Exactly. But the one thing that's really cool about this restaurant too yeah. is that you, we can watch you cook. If we're in the dining room area, oh, yeah. it's an open kitchen. We love it. We get to say hi to this guest and pretty much entertain them and it entertains us. Now this is something that's on the menu all the time, but you guys are really seasonal too. As the season changes, so do the availability of ingredients. So we change up our menu, and it's not just that. We like to keep it competitive and also challenge ourselves and educate ourselves a little bit more, and that's why we constantly change our menu. All right, so our mussels are opening up, and we're just gonna follow up with some garlic puree, some leeks, parsley, sugar, and a pinch of thyme. So Hunter, the skier or the snowboarder that's super hungry and wants yeah. a beer and something quick, this is what they should get. They should. They should get this and pair it up with a nice Sophie Saison. It'll be fantastic. All right. This yeah. is the local dish at Boxcar. It's the PEI brown mussels. And we are going to head out into the dining room and taste those in just a moment. We're in the intimate side of Boxcar Restaurant and Bar, and this is where you can see the kitchen. Kara is here with me. Now you got Hunter to get me back in the kitchen and then serve us. How'd you do that? Well, I control the payroll, but <laughs> we're actually a really good team. This is a really great restaurant. The beer is cold. The mussels are the local dish. We are going to dig in, and we suggest that you do as well. The restaurant opens daily at 2 o'clock, so come on over to Avon to Boxcar Restaurant and Bar. Mm. Thanks.